Today I'm going to be talking about putting air conditioning on a 1951 Nash Statesman that as you can see is 6 volt positive ground and for some reason nobody thinks that you can have air conditioning on these 6 volt cars but here is a modern Sandin unit it's a Sandin 508 and it's actually an off brand from uh, advanced auto parts it's a new manufacturer and it actually runs and works on the 6 volt system you can reverse the polarity and, and the clutch still engages and because it's an electromagnet it really is only affected by amps and not volts that's how you can get away with it it if uh, when I was going to install it or experimenting with this I took it and I set it over there on the battery and uh, put the case on the positive terminal and then use the trigger wire and put it on the negative terminal to see if the polarity would reverse and it would work and it did and it was just on battery voltage without it running at all and so right then I knew there was something to it the clutch would click and engage and and if it would on a real six volts and I knew if the car was running then certainly it would and it's still got the, the generator I had to stick with the generator because on these Nash cars the generator has a shaft out the back and that runs the water pump there behind the distributor and so it really you have to stick with the factory stuff if it had been any other car you can easily get a six volt alternator and you can you know you can get away with more that way you'd be able to run electric fans as you can see I don't have an electric fan I just built a shroud and got a six blade fan because I really hate the sound of the electric fans and this is a more simple setup and I don't have to load the electrical system any more than I, than I have to and what I did up here the Nash heater core the heater core was in there and I took out the heater core and all that stuff and I ran through the original holes the, the AC lines going and they continue on down to the unit which is hanging under the dash you can see the setup here the dryer and the condensers down in there and I, I used a V belt and ran it like a serpentine belt because I've only got one pulley I mean uh, one groove on the crank pulley and so one runs everything this one here this is what I use to tension it and I'll demonstrate it in a, in a minute okay so the way I have this set up is I have one toggle switch under the dash right here that controls or that engages the clutch and turns the blower motor on I didn't take the time to make adjustable fan speed is just on when everything's on and flip the switch off everything's off so I've got it on the middle fan speed and the way I did that because on these generic units you have a, a dual shaft blower motor with the you know the cage the blower cage on each side and you can't get a six volt motor for that and what I found you can find a, a, a voltage step up I forget what they call it exactly you can get it on uh, Amazon they're like 30 bucks it's I think it supports up to 10 amps and it uh, let's see yeah I mean it, you can use uh, 6 volt to 12 volt supports up to 10 amps it easy to install you can use positive or negative ground just wire it however and I made the face plate for this unit because it, the one that it came with would have stuck out too far and just put the vents in it and the little filler plate here between and the the voltage step up thing is uh, behind there and uh, I guess I'll demonstrate okay so the cars running See the fan going, the belt going. It tracks pretty true. And the clutch is not engaged. I'm gonna go flip the switch. And you can also you can also listen. Well, if I can do this with two hands, 
it really doesn't bog the engine very much here there that's with the AC on that's with the AC off I did not adjust the air gap or really do anything to this compressor. It's the same way it came out of the box. And it works fine. And I have a infrared thermometer. And I, after driving it, I, you know, put it on the clutch, put it on everything else. The clutch is not slipping. It's not hotter than anything else under here. And it's absolutely shown no signs of slipping at all. And so it seems to work pretty well. Of course, the AC works better going down the road because you have better airflow over the condenser. But it works pretty respectably. Respective, you know, it's okay. And for something that's supposedly not possible, it does work pretty well. Okay, I guess, can you see that? It reads about uh, a little over 80 degrees, maybe. Just a vent thermometer. I'll stick it in here. Hopefully that'll stay. I'll go ahead and start the car. Car started and turn the AC on. Put the window up. And we'll go down the road and see how it cools off. sealed up like they should because all the weather stripping is gone but it does okay on a hot day 90 something degrees it's not enough to to make you cold but it cools you off it might keep you from sweating so I think it's worth doing coming out of it feels it feels pretty cool Concept. 
pretty refreshing. And if anybody has any questions about, if anybody watches the video has questions, uh, I'd be happy to try and answer your questions the best I can. Uh, it's all just been an experiment, so you know, hopefully I have an answer. <laughs> but at least that goes to show you that it is in fact possible, no matter what the forums say. <laughs> and I guess that'll be it. See you next time.